In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can write your research faster using the SciSpace AI Writer feature. So let's get started. I'm going to quickly share my screen with you and I'm going to take you So once I sign up or you log in on your SciSpace account, you can scroll down on this window uh, to find the AI Writer feature. And once you click on this feature, you will see a window which shows some GIFs and how this Sci, uh, SciSpace AI Writer works. So let's just start writing. So I'll click this button and I will get a window which will be more of like a notebook where I'm gonna go start writing. Yeah, so today I want to work on what is the role of AI in healthcare. And now if you are someone who has just a, a thought of a topic and you want to start writing or uh, using this AI writer feature, you can directly uh, create a, an outline for your paper. So let's just see, uh, once I click this outline builder option, uh, it will ask me to write uh, an outline for, and I'm going to write my idea or thought here. So role of AI in healthcare is what I want the AI to generate an outline for, and I will press enter, and let's see what it gives me. So AI is writing, as you can see, and in within a few seconds, it will give me the outline for my paper. Now you can uh, you can see that it is up to you whether you want to accept this outline, you want to try again, or you want to discard completely. For now, I will uh, go with this. I will accept it, and then uh, now if you if you have already done your basic literature of review. Uh, you can start writing your uh, review in the in the sections here, but I am yet to start. So let's see how SciSpace can help me in uh, finding relevant papers as well. So if I go to the papers section, I get to uh, compare and analyze relevant papers that matches my search. I also get to uh, find out a list of concepts. Uh, for my paper. So for the for now, I will go get insights from paper and I will put my question here in the search option of how does the artificial how does the artificial intelligence impact health care. Uh, so it has given me some options. If I can, if you want, you can choose from some of these options. Uh, I just want to continue with what I was searching for. And I will put a question mark and it will be give me, uh, within a few seconds, it will give me insights from the top papers and it will also generate a list of relevant papers regarding my question. So see, as you can see, it has given me insights from the top five papers. You can go here and you can see that it has also given me the uh, citations of the recent papers which talk about the uh, AI, how AI impacts healthcare. And you can go down and scroll to see the papers and read them. You can uh, d uh, look for the PDF. You can chat with the PDF. You can create new columns here and write your paper. Now, what I will do is I will uh, directly, I can also save this answer to the notebook using the save to notebook uh, option here. Uh, for now, I will just simply copy this from here and I will go back to um, the portion I was writing. And now I have what, so I can put it somewhere here. I can put it in the introduction section. Now, this is what I've copied from there, and I can obviously go on writing and refining it later. Uh, for this video, let's just see that if I want to, you know, just use this feature to uh, write better. So I can select the, the portion I want to write better, and I can go for the AI writer option. And here, it will give me options of whether I want to improve the fluency of my work, 
whether I want to paraphrase it, whether I want to simplify it further, whether I want to make it longer, maybe if you want to translate it from one language to the other language. And it can also off offers me uh, uh, of ways of fixing the grammar. So it is one and all tool that can help you to write and uh, at the same time, it, it takes care of the grammar as well. So uh, right now, um, let's just see if I want to paraphrase this. And then once I choose paraphrase, it will also give me a list of tones which I get to select from. So I can select whether I want, want to go for an academic tone or a, more of a casual tone or a persuasive tone, which are the common ones in, in academic writing. So let's just say that I want to go for an academic tone. And I will, as I click it, AI will write one for me now it is up to me to decide whether i like it or i want to you know replace the selection i want to insert it below or i want the ai to i don't like it and i want the ai to write it again so for now maybe just i want to insert it below or maybe i can later i can go on uh, exploring it further uh, once you see this, you also see that AI also starts giving you suggestions of further writing your paper. So once you are writing somewhere and you reach a writer's blog where you are not able to figure out how to go about it further, the AI also gives you suggestions on how to write it. And it is up to you whether you want to accept the suggestion or you don't want to go about it. Uh, here, one more feature that I would want to show you is the cite option. So suppose I want uh, to cite something here and I click the cite button. Uh, so it will give me a list of relevant papers which talk about my research. So if I have something uploaded in my library, I can use it from there as well. Or if I have something, the size space papers which are there, so I can I get to choose from there as well. And once I select this, suppose I feel that this is the right uh, uh, reference for my paper, I can select this. And within seconds, uh, the tool will also cite this paper here for me. So as you can see, it is cited this one. So now I don't have to also worry about my citations here. Uh, that's all about writing with AI, but then I would really want you to be careful of not generating and relying completely on AI for your papers. I recommend that AI should assist and not replace your critical thinking. So use AI as a complementary tool rather than relying on it entirely and do not accept AI suggestions uncritically. Use the referral code from the description below and don't forget to share your comments on how has your experience been with using SciSpace AI Writer. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't